So let's let's start uh, let's start with this. So um, NFC is, uh, as Boone mentioned, uh, we're seeing it in uh, many different industries today. From you see it in consumer home appliances, healthcare, uh, transportation. Uh, so the use cases are growing. Uh, Apple has been opening up the phone support for that. The uh, with iOS 13 last year, the Apple phones opened up to. Um, uh, allow you to write to tags. Uh, we see that trend continuing with the Apple Worldwide Developers Conference a couple of weeks ago. Seems iOS 14 is going to open up even more NFC features. There's even discussion of how your phone will be able to use to uh, access uh, your car uh, to open the door. So now let's go uh, a little bit more in detail, uh, some use cases uh, one at a time uh, to give you some ideas of how this might uh, fit into your products. One of the most uh, popular uses of, uh, and simple uses of an NFC tag is the ability with a single tap to uh, uh, tap on a tag and go directly to a web page. An example of doing this might be to get a web page for further instructions or details on a product or perhaps uh, a YouTube video that helps you set up the product or learn more about it. Uh, this is done by a very special NFC message uh, called an NDEF message, which is the NFC uh, data exchange format. So when your phone sees a message of this type, it does an automated activity. Very similar to the uh, web page is the uh, tap and get an app. Uh, you could put a tag uh, on your getting started manual, uh, not even in your product, and somebody could take their phone and tap on the getting started manual, go directly into the app store to get the correct app that accompanies your product without hunting around and searching for it. Smart access control. I'm sure many of you have been to a hotel with uh, and received an NFC enabled uh, room key. Uh, it's much more reliable, less likely to get erased than the uh, mag stripes that you have if you put it with your phone. Uh, but we see this access control for rooms and cabinets, uh, medical devices, etc. Maybe you've seen a Bluetooth enabled speaker with an NFC tag in it. Perhaps you're at a park or the beach and somebody's uh, playing music. Uh, you come up uh, and you say, hey, have you guys heard this song? And so you could just take your phone over, tap on that speaker without going through a complicated uh, pairing uh, procedure. You can take over the speaker and, and play the song. I just want to point out that uh, this is not just for Bluetooth, although that's a popular example. You could use this to exchange credentials for Ethernet, uh, Zigbee, LoRa, or pretty much any kind of a connectivity situation. Tap and identify is a popular use of an NFC tag. Uh, for example, you have a wine bottle that has a tag on it. Maybe you tap that wine bottle in the store and you get more information, reviews. Maybe you're enjoying that wine bottle and it takes you to a web page where you can order another case. Uh, also, it's a good way to make sure a product is authentic. You could embed a tag into the fabric of a shoe, for instance, uh, and you could detect whether it's a clone or genuine. Transportation is a popular use of NFC. I'm sure many of you have been on a subway or a mass city bus where you've uh, tapped with an NFC card. Parameter setting. Now here's the use case, uh, if you notice on the bottom right of the chart, it says dynamic tag. Uh, so the dynamic tag uh, will allow you to uh, update perhaps a unit under test in a factory, uh, maybe while it's being tested, or maybe the unit isn't even powered up. And so with the NFC field, you could uh, update the test that it's passed, uh, the test results, uh, and later the unit could power up and retrieve those results, or you could retrieve it uh, with uh, your test uh, system. Similar to that is a dynamic tag. Now imagine your products out in the field. Uh, I'll use the example of a air conditioned service technician that's on a route to service commercial air conditioners. Uh, perhaps he takes his route and he taps the tablet on the unit to be serviced. He could see last time he was out, it, it required this much Freon. Maybe that could detect a leak. Uh, maybe it's time to change a, a belt. 
and then you could update uh, the results and move on from there. Payment and home banking is another popular use of uh, NFC. Uh, a lot of you are now doing touchless. This has gained more popularity during the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, uh, but it's uh, also a little bit more reliable and even a faster transaction. Tap and power. Uh, this is one of my favorite uh, eval boards we have here at ST. If you look, uh, it's the ST eval smart tag one, which is available through our distribution partners or contact your local ST uh, sales. Uh, what's uh, unique about this board is it has the uh, circle dynamic tag on there with the antenna embedded into the PC board. Uh, but not only can you access that dynamic tag, but there's an energy harvest output pin which uh, will take the NFC field, supply a voltage out that is enough to power the micro and the sensors on this board. So you can get an instantaneous reading of the sensors with no other power uh, supplied other than the NFC field from your phone. Accessory recognition is another popular use of uh, NFC tags. In this picture, you see a drill. So the reader would be embedded into the base of the drill and the tags would be in the accessories. Um, so you might detect, uh, is this accessory compatible with this product? Uh, maybe with this accessory, we got to make sure the drill motor only runs at a certain RPMs. Automotive is a very big growth uh, area for NFC. Uh, we already discussed that uh, NFC phones are moving through the connected car consortium to become uh, access to the door. Also, it can be used to uh, start the vehicle, and it's going to be commonplace to see the center console with the Qi charger and an NFC charger together. So you can put your phone down to charge, uh, and then it can automatically pair to the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi of the automobile. Now let's talk a little bit about the products and families that we have to help you with these use cases. First, let's talk about the categories and types of products. Uh, on the top of this slide, I wanna highlight the NFC tags. So the NFC tags seem uh, simple, but they've got the gates in there to do all kinds of authentication as we discussed. And the other thing I want you to remember is includes double EEPROM. So this is a very big difference from a QR code because you can read and write to this double EEPROM hundreds of thousands of times, just like a regular double EEPROM. The dynamic tags in the center of the chart also have the RF interface and again on board E squared, uh, but they also have a dual port out the other side, uh, typically an I squared C port, could be a PWM port, uh, so you can interface to a micro or possibly pass all the way through. And on the bottom are readers, uh, so we offer a family of readers. Uh, in some cases, the phone can be the reader or you can do a design based on a reader IC. So here's a broad overview of our NFC tag family. On the far left, you see the TV tags, which are for transit. Uh, the TEA tags, the next two columns over, they're ISO 14443A. You may want to use those for compatibility of an existing system or perhaps higher data rate. Uh, the TV tags uh, are the ISO 15693 based. This will give you, uh, these type five tags will give you a little bit more margin of error for range and RF. Uh, but still offers a wide variety from 512 bits up to 64K bits. Similarly, the dynamic tags with the extra port, as we discussed, uh, we have uh, M24SR14443A and the ST25DVI squared C, which is a pin for pin uh, replacement of the M24LR, and we recommend that for new designs that supports type 5. The reader family is extensive as well. We go from the low end with the ST25R95, uh, which has 230 milliwatts of output power up to the brand new ST25R3916 family, which begins with 1.6 watts of output power. Both the ST25R95 and 3916 family offer card emulation and the ST25R3911B family and 3916B family have automotive uh, options for you. We have a vast array of enablement for you, uh, Nucleo boards for your embedded code, uh, discovery kits to get you started, reference designs with schematics and Gerber's and bombs, 
source code to help you with uh, Android and iOS applications uh, and PC software to help with your evaluation. Also, we have online tools with your, to help you with your antenna design. On the left side of this chart, uh, we're highlighting the eDesign suite, which is for uh, NFC tags. And the right side is a matching tool for readers. Um, and also, also, we have applications engineers uh, when you run into trouble uh, where we can assist you further. All the NFC uh, offerings from ST, uh, as we're a partner and member of the NFC forum, have been through certification there. So you can be sure the tags, dynamic tags, and readers will be uh, compatible and interoperable with other systems. Mm -hmm.